Patrick Leahy was one of four senators who sent a letter to the White House last month. In the letter, the senators expressed their concern about what they call the abduction in Saudi Arabia of Saad al-Jabri's son and daughter. In his court filing, al-Jabri said his children, now aged 20 and 21, were being held as what he called human bait to lure him out of hiding. The State Department has now responded to the Senator's concerns. In a letter to Senator Leahy, it describes Saad al-Jabri as a valued partner to the U.S. government, working closely with the U.S. to ensure the safety of Americans and Saudis. It also states that any persecution of al-Jabri's family members is unacceptable, adding that it has made repeated requests to the Saudi government about the status of his son and daughter. So Al-Jabri was an advisor to the previous Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Nayef. But in his court filing, he says he left Saudi Arabia because he feared what would happen if and when Mohammed bin Salman took over. The State Department says it's concerned about the alleged activities that resulted in Al-Jabri's exile to Canada. It says that any Saudi accusations of wrongdoing against him must be, and I quote, addressed through established legal channels with full transparency and respect for the rule of law. Interpol rejected a Saudi request for Al Jabri's arrest, saying it was rooted in political and not criminal grounds. President Trump has continued to express his support for the Saudi Crown Prince, despite the repeated allegations of human rights violations describing him as an ally and friend. But increasingly, this is very much at odds with the prevailing view in Congress. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.